So um, here is St. Augustine's um, SHS book also. This is a staff common room. The staff common room is up here. And then the home account department is here. Yeah. So for me, I, I, I feel like I came at the very right time. When we go here, first of all, it was a general light out in the whole town, which was fine. It came. But this morning, it's Monday morning. By, by this time, the students should be preparing for class. But they have a serious water shortage. This video is directly directed to the old student association president the president of the old student association saint augustine's um bogoso your people need they need um a borehole this is urgent they need a borehole as soon as possible because you see, you see how I'm walking. I'm actually going to where they are going to fetch their water. I don't know where, where they fetch the water, but I understand it's, it's in the town. I asked, where did you get the water from? He said, from the town. So a few of them are going. Some are also behind us coming. So I am walking. I just want you to see the distance that they cover to go and get the water. So, um, drilling a borehole will not be even up to, I mean, the, 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 the price, the cost will not be up to 20,000 cities, I think, maybe 10,000 or 12,000. And this is something, water is something that is very useful when uh, you are in a senior high school. So, you go this way. And they keep going. So, the president of the Old Student Association, St. Augustine's, please, if you are not an old student of this school, what I need from you is to share this video. Tag me. Augusto Bog or so old students that you know. Tag them. If you're also a philanthropist that you think you can uh, give these people a war hole, I will be so happy. Who knows? Maybe it is God who made me come here at such a point in time just so that this issue will be faced. Okay, so they are all going to fresh water. They say from the town. The, the, uh, there's a diversion. Where is the water? Huh? Where is the water? So you can either go there or Okay. Some two are taking their shower over here. It's okay. How far? So some brought their bucket around here just so that they will just fetch the water and bath here. Okay, so here's where they are getting the water. It's in town, actually. And, Andy, why are you people here? Is here part of the school? No, it's not part of the school. But why are you here? This is because you have a little water See, problem. You have a water problem. Yeah, yeah. But don't you have a borehole in your school? We have a borehole, but uh, we don't have the controller. Maybe it's, it's automatic, so uh, it pumps itself into the tank. But I think that machine has been damaged, so we use only one uh, borehole. We have the two. We have two. We have drilled two, but we use only one. So that's why maybe in the morning. Uh, the water in the tank has let's say finished so we can't do that one so the pipe is not coming so you have to come here and fetch water how many how many um 
water reservoirs do you have? How many tanks do you have? We have three tanks, but only one is in use. Only one is in use. Yes. And the borehole, you have the borehole, but it's not working. Yes. Yes. At times, the machine gets spoiled, and we have to go and buy new one just because of the automatic. Like it controls the machine. Like okay. Switching it on, when it gets hot, like it turns it off. Yeah. How long has this thing been? Since I came to this school. Since I came to you are informed what? I'm informed today. Hey. Yeah. So three years. And when I, whenever there is a water shortage, you come here. Now your whole students are watching. They are very curious. They are very sad. They feel sorry about this thing. What, what would you like to tell them? Uh, I would tell them is to like turn back to the school to see if they can do something to help us. This is very important because you are the major stakeholders of this school. Of course, the government is doing a bit, as a lot of their support should come from you. Just like Andy is saying that if you could turn and look back at the school and come and face this problem, because right now they should have been in class. It's getting to 7 a.m. They have to go to class, but they are here fetching water. Some are even um, washing around here. They're going to do their bath over here. Some will brush their teeth over here. And the danger in this is that, you know, what's in a Fabian and Serum, some will use it as an opportunity to escape from the school. And then both boys and girls will escape from the school and then go to places they are not supposed to. So um, if you are seeing this, I am actually asking you, begging you to show up for the school administration. I'll put their number there. In fact, um, if you are not an old student of this school and you belong to any other school, the best you can do is to share this video, tag any old student of our school, and then tell them that there is a water crisis here that needs to be solved urgently. And if you do that, you go and buy the machines and you are coming to fix it, please call us. We want to come and see everything that you're doing for the school. And I will so much appreciate it. Yeah.